YouTube. We're doing the vlog. First and foremost, thank you very much for watching this. Definitely not getting started how I wanted to. Had a microphone issue and this camera and lens, as you will see, isn't quite ideal for vlogging. But no more excuses, getting that out of the way. It's time to just create. So we're making videos, no more excuses. Okay, now first and foremost, I'm sure you guys have two questions out there probably what this channel is going to be about and why am I starting a vlog and in a nutshell what this channel is going to be about is my highest values and I answer that question that way because I don't believe it's possible to survive in the social media world if you're trying to just copy other creators and not operating out of what is truly important to you. Now my five highest values are nutrition, exercise, trading, traveling, and creating. As far as why I'm starting this channel, uh, it's simply because I feel like I need to increase my service to the world. I want to give back. I'm super thankful for all my mentors that take the time to create and share their knowledge and it's changed my life in so many ways for the better that I want to do the same and hopefully I can share some stuff with you guys that will spark some amazing ideas and unleash your guys' potential. And second, I always hear my mentors say, I wish I would have started recording my journey sooner and so I thought, well, I'll take that advice as well, and I will start recording my journey. I'm very excited to look back on this content 10, 20, 30 years from now, and it'll just be really cool to capture all the stuff that I have planned and coming up. So yeah, that's another reason why I'm doing this now is to get the skills built up and the video editing and stuff like that for some of the, our bigger adventures that we have coming up in 2018. So these are these first couple ones might be a little rough. So thank you very much if you stick with me through them and I guess that leaves me now the main purpose of this video is an introductory video so you guys can get to know me a little bit better and moving forward everything will make a little bit more sense now I would say my journey towards financial independence started back in 2012 when I when I smashed the end of my middle finger off I'm missing about a quarter inch on the end of my middle finger on my right hand and you see, I say that because I would have been classified as what anybody would call a workaholic. I used to work seven days a week, 12 hours a day, for as many days in a row as I could. I did that for about 10 months out of the year for about five years. I used to be a commercial diver. I used to put this glorified fiberglass bubble on my head to get paid money. Talk about risk reward issues, huh? Anyways, I say smashing my finger off was my path to financial freedom because it literally made me stop and take a break from work. I had to take two months off, but that two months was paid at 80% of my average salary. So this was my first taste of passive income. So I had a taste for passive income and the universe had spoken to me. The path was laid out, it was crystal clear. All you gotta do is follow it. Nope, not this idiot. As you guys will find out, I'm pretty stubborn. But at the time, the company I was working for was helping salvage the coast of Concordia, which was the Italian cruise ship that wrecked on the small island of Giglio. This would be the single biggest salvage the world had ever seen, and of course, that got my feeling of importance fired up, so I had to go be part of that. Now, I don't know if it was something inside me that changed, or if it was the barge conditions that we had to live on, but that ended up being the single-handed worst job I'd ever been on in my entire life and by the time I came back I was ready to hang up the hat for good. Well if you're as good as math as I am and this was all happening back in 2012 and this is 2017 and I'm deciding to just post now about quitting my job you might have figured out it wasn't quite that smooth of a road after all. Now I was ready to hang up the hat in 2012 I didn't actually get that done until this year. It did take me a while, but I was working towards that goal the entire time. Now my first thought of how I could get out of diving and find something else I could do solely creating my own income was to be a farrier. Now a farrier, for those of you who don't know, is basically the people that put the shoes on the horse's feet. And yes, there is a school for that. I did go to farrier school. And the first thing my instructor told me was, this is hard work. Now, being a commercial diver and very stubborn, I wasn't afraid of that. I like to work hard, was my mentality. This is a different kind of hard work. This is literally medieval, backbreaking, the hardest thing I have ever done. I did it, I finished the school, I did it for a while, but I knew right away, there's no way I could keep this up. 
I didn't know this at the time, but that wasn't in line with my highest values of nutrition and exercise and staying healthy. So this job was just so painful and so backbreaking that just something inside me was telling me, you can't keep going, you can't do this, and it's time to move on. You tried, whatever, leave it alone. At the same time I was going to Ferry School, I had miraculously, randomly received another gift from the universe, and that was the Infinite Prosperity ad of Amy buying her Lambo, which I know a lot of you guys, if you're IP students and watching this, you found the same thing, and I don't think that's a coincidence. There's that advertisement spoke to the right people, in my opinion. But anyways, when I was going to Ferrier School, it was pretty much when I started my trading journey. And it's been a long journey, but that's that's when it started. That's when I started learning, started for, trading my first demo account while I was in Ferrier School, and I completely grenaded that first demo account, and I had to take about a six month break from trading after that. So being a Ferrier didn't work out. I was taking a break from trading. Only one thing left to do, pick up my pride, grabbed my hat, went back to work. Now I started rolling with that again and got comfortable back in the water, got kind of that underneath me again. And then just something happened in my head, I started to pick it back up again. What, what about this trading thing? What is that all about? Like, I couldn't just leave that defeated by that thing. That, unlike the failure thing where I felt myself, it felt like it wasn't a good idea. That actually felt like it beat me. And that wasn't sitting very well for me. So I had to go back, start figuring out this trading thing. And then from that point on, I say it took me about three years from that point on to go full-time trading. And that happened earlier this year. That was in uh, after our big wedding in March. Um, I told my wife that I think this is the time to, if I'm gonna do it, this is the time to do it. We don't have kids and you know, I, uh, I'm feeling pretty stable right now. And so we, we decided to do it. It was very nerve wracking at first, but yeah, I hung up the hat and now I am a full-time day trader since April. Now, I don't want this channel to be me teaching you guys how to trade. I will show you where I learned how to trade, which will be in the description below. But as far as like learning how to trade off of a free YouTube video, it's, it's not where you guys want to learn, first of all, and I know I'm not licensed or anything like that to teach you guys how to trade. I will hook you up with where I learned how to trade, and I believe that anybody can do it, and I believe that if you guys are interested in it, you have my support, you have the Infinite Prosperity Guys support, they will help you out, and they will get you to achieve this goal. With that being said, I do want to share some of the, maybe the two biggest things that I would say I learned on this trading journey, and the biggest one that I didn't really see the consistent results come in until I killed my ego. Um, obviously, this is a pretty competitive business. We always try to, if you're in the water working and some guy gets six things done, if you're next in the water, you want to get eight, you want to get 10 things done. So it's very competitive. That doesn't really work in trading. If you're trying to compete with the other traders out there that you see, it, you're never gonna, in my, well, at least for myself, it came down to the point where I just had to realize I was never gonna compete with them because it has nothing to do with them. This is between me, my emotions, my mental game, and operating as best as I can in a, an environment that will chew you up and spit you out every time you come at it with everything you have, thinking you're gonna beat it. And the second thing was going all in and actually how much you need to build up into your account to provide the same level of income as what I was comfortable with trading and diving. And there were some big sacrifices on the way and some huge paradigm shifts. Um, I had, I owned this current house and I had a rental property and I had a fun car. I sold the rental property and I sold my toy car to fund the trading account. So there's definitely were some sacrifices on this road, but it feels good. It does feel good. And that's where we're still at now in this journey is like my wife and I are liquidating. I'm trading and we're getting ready to travel. So we're just trying to get rid of some of the materialistic stuff, slim it down, control our expenses, increase our liquid assets, and then increase income on top of that with trading. And we're trying to do the vlog. She's starting a travel blog. That's pretty much where we're at. That's what we got going on. We got some big adventures coming up for 2018. I hope you guys uh, stick around 
and come on with us. It's gonna be good. I'm excited. Hope you're excited. This video might have been a little rough, so if you watch all the way to the end, thank you very much for doing that. I appreciate your support. Um, they will get better. Like I said, this is a uh, this is just a test. This is a skill building experience right now. Getting the videos created, posting them up, and moving on. With that, I'm gonna to try to cut this short, uh, end it there. I'll just sit here rambling onto this camera all day, but that's where we're at in the game right now. Liquidate, trade, travel. What else could you ask for?